Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So, last time we made it through Petal Meadows and Petalburg to Schwonk Fortress. That's where we are now. Let us proceed. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way here to Schwonk Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> so what do you want to do? I'll take you on. <laughs> You're in for it now. Oh, this is not what we were expecting, was it? Hey, hey, ladies and germs, welcome everyone to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz, because in Paper Mario 1, it was the 64th. Perk up those ears, if you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question, what's hidden in this place? Uh, Pickle Princess Peach, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> wrong, 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 you fools. Remember, if you get free wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Don't let the pressure get to you. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the shop in Petalberg? Total. 20 coins. No. You blivery meathead, you're wrong again. Get one more wrong and something wonderfully awful happens to you. Just one more wrong. <laughs> What's that I hear? Your little knees knocking? Moving on, question three. Also, I love the music that uh, is plays when you have to answer. What is the name of the mayor of Petalberg? Moopa. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't- I want to know what happens. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. So wrong it hurts. That's three wrongs. How awful for you. <laughs> Time for the pain game. I'll be nice, beat these guys and I'll let you pass, but you can't possibly do it. Best of luck, fathead. <laughs> Wow, this is an interesting development. Can't flee this fight. These are guys you normally wouldn't encounter until World 2. Oh, Toad, please. Keep please. Wait, what? You missed, you meathead, you lackwit. These are clefts. They're a wee bit nasty. You heard of bald clefts, right? Well, actually, these guys really aren't much more nasty. That's a cleft, a rockhead jerk with spikes on his noggin. What a rocker! Max HP is two, attack is two, and defense is two. That har that hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see these guys until World Two. Oh, thanks. Gonna implement the gust strategy, I think. We've got a lot of FP, so we can just power smash the heck out of these guys. Whoa! That was a super guard. Sweet. Not that that will really do much, because these guys have. You have to damage them four if you want to kill them. I didn't know that was the case. I was going to show off the rest of the quiz, but actually, you know, I, I kind of like this. I like getting a lot of uh, star points. <laughs> Time for a second level up, and I wonder what we should level up. Of course, we're going to level up BP. Because why not when BP can level up the others? W what? It can't be! How did you defeat my cute little clefts? Arrgh! 
Fine, whatever, you can pass, but I despise you. <laughs> I'm actually sure never gotten that wrong, but that's great. <laughs> yes, that is great. That is great. Also, now that I have more BP, I will equip Close Call. Welcome to Real Schwank Fortress. Ooh, what's this? It's the multi-bounce badge! Jump on all foes in a row with perfect action commands. You remember that from the first game. Might as well equip it. Let's go this way first. Oh boy, we remember these. These jerks that are annoying in every Mario game. Meork, these are fuzzies. They are nasty enemies. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine! Max HP is free, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Those fiends suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew, doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, guard against them by pressing A at the moment they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. These fiends really suck HP. Oh, well that works. <laughs> now I have a special jump attack I can do. Multi-bounce. Ow. I don't like how the stage effects like that can affect you, because sometimes if the bucket drops on your head, you get dizzy, which is not good or fair. Bad timing. Fuzzies are pretty tough to first strike. Also, I like jumping more than hammering, because jumping is quicker. So it's hard enough for me to use the A timing on that, let alone the super guard, so... Forgive me if I don't even try, especially since Super Guard really isn't going to help all that much against these guys. Oh look, we have all Goombas in the audience. That's not good. Certain uh, characters in the audience will do different things, so like, I think Dry Bones really aren't going to give you anything, or Goombas are more likely to throw stuff at you. And we get the Sunstone, a mystical stone shaped like the sun. And hey, I'm getting vibes to Dry Dry Ruins, I don't know about you. Alright. Well, we've got a fire flower, so... Let's burn, baby! <laughs> I love that. We're still getting so many star points. <laughs> this is great. I like Paper Mario... I really like Paper Mario because they managed to balance it so you really don't have to level grind. Like, as long as you fight pretty much every enemy you see. There are a few exceptions. Later on in the game, there's one part where you definitely want to avoid all the enemies, but for the most part, if you fight every enemy you see, you should be fine. Especially if you're really good at selecting the right badges to equip. Because one thing I didn't mention yet, uh, in Paper Mario 1, there was a finite amount of badges that you had to collect. In this, there are an infinite amount of certain badges. So, by exploiting these certain badges, you can get incredibly broken combos, and you can basically be unkillable. Of course, it requires a lot of grinding, but... Never mind. <laughs> well, we might get into that if we attempt the bonus dungeon. <sighs> Fuzzies are so hard to first strike, because they're so sporadic. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Mjork. Try to find me, Mjork. Alright, Goombella. Good, you got the action command right. Now we are going to multi-bounce. Power of Multi-Bounce. Honestly, it's not a terribly great badge, but it's not awful. 
and it's better than nothing, so why not? And here we get the Moonstone, a mystical stone shaped like the moon. Seriously, this is basically Dry Dry Ruins, where we're collecting the different stones. Hey, guess what, fuzzies? I have another fire flower. Burn, baby! Honestly, fire flowers are amazing in the first world, but they kind of lose their value afterwards, so... Might as well use them now. We're in Schwank Fortress. All this water is made of the place a little cold. I wouldn't mind getting out of here with some fresh air for soon, if you know what I mean. I get it, Goombella. There sure are a lot of fuzzies living here in Schwank Fortress. I saw one a minute ago and I thought it was a ghost! I totally hate dark places. I can't decide if I should keep doing a lot of tattling or if I should kind of tone it back. Oh, hey you! Me York! Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. And we can't flee this fight, because of course not. This is the Gold Fuzzy. Me oof! Hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet! Everyone get him! Wait, really? This already? <laughs> okay. Oh no, tell me I can still tattle on him. Okay. The Fuzzy Horde is not a separate tattle. If you've tattled on a Fuzzy, then that's good. good. That's a gold fuzzy. You can't see him, but he's in there somewhere. Whoa, these are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. <laughs> Man, this is a lot like the general guy fight, then. <laughs> So we just want to focus all of our attacks on the Gold Fuzzy, as opposed to the others. Ooh! Woohoo! B-I-N-G-O! Full HP! Sold out house! <laughs> the timing on that's a little tough to get, but it's not too bad. Wow, I'm doing much better now that I've stopped trying to super guard all the time. Oh, look! Okay, but it worked! <laughs> I can't believe it. I've gotten two super guards. Which is probably nothing to brag about, because now that the gold fuzzy's gone, everyone else flees. And we get experience for them anyways. 20 star points! We're almost at a third level up. Mia, You got me! Mjork, Mjork, Mjork. We're in Schwank Fortress. My shoes are totally soaked through now. Just great. Plus, it's dark and cramped and smells totally bad. This place is not cool, Mario. Yeah, it's a sewer, so, I mean, you can't expect it to smell good now, can you? Alright, uh... I'm gonna, how, much, how many star points do these enemies give me now? Oh, two apiece still? Oh, heck yeah, then I'm getting rid of these guys. Okay, you do not want to get free poison mushrooms in a row, I'm just saying that. I can't remember exactly what happens, but I know you lose a lot of HP and a lot of FP. And I think star power, and I think a lot of your audience leaves. Basically, it's bad. And that's all you really need to know. And I'm sure I will get triple poison mushrooms at some point in this game, so never fear. Especially knowing my luck. That guy has a happy heart badge. Which means that he will restore a 1 HP, I believe, every turn. Let's get rid of him. Oh, great, and his friend Spiky Goomba has a sleepy cheap, which I know he's going to use. And Sleepy Sheep look really weird in this. Yes! 
<laughs> that is exactly what I wanted to happen. Try to put me to sleep? I'll put you to sleep. Do, 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 do. Wake up, Kumbella, we beat it. <laughs> and we get a Sleepy Sheep for our troubles. Honestly, Sleepy Sheeps ha were really useful in the first game. They're not super useful in this. Mainly because the first game had a lot of enemies that were highly susceptible to falling asleep, like Clubbas and Can't See Koopa. But this, not so much. I've gone it. I feel like most of the damage I've taken recently has been from falling buckets and stage lights. And we're making quite a bit of cash money. Oh, I thought I jumped on him. How is it I get the same number of star points from a Koopa as I get from a Paragoomba? Paragoombas are way easier. Actually, do you just go faster when you're jumping in this in general? I know you go faster when jumping in the background, but maybe in the foreground as well? I don't know. I missed the power jump badge. That gives me another level up. Let's see. What do I want to level up? Yes, HP is good enough. Unfortunately, leveling up your HP does not level up your partner's HP. That comes at a different point in the game. So pretty soon Mario's going to have a ton of HP and Goombella's still going to only have 10. Heads up, if I miss an action command, then it's safe to assume that I tried doing a super guard instead of just the regular guard. Alright, now I'm getting slim picking star points from these guys. But Paragumas are very easy. I'm back, everybody! By popular demand. Yeah! Mario is back by popular demand. Yes, indeed, everyone loves him. And I'm gonna go now. Um, excuse me. It's... it's Mario, right? Look, I... um... See, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me to f with you to fight Hooktail! Please, I'm begging you! <laughs> Sorry about that. See, 
My dad, he went off to battle Hooktail a long time ago. But he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't about just about avenging my dad. Well, no. That's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what Dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario? Sure, come along. For real? No kidding? Yes! Thank you so much! You won't regret this. Koop says join your party! Koop's abilities. A primer. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. If you hold X, you can hold his shell in one place after shooting it. After holding his shell in place, release X to fire his shell past Mario and attack. You can even hold Koops' shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight on your, by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies in one attack with his Power Shell. To swap your partner in the field, press Start, Pause, and go to the Party Menu. Hi! Okay, Mario, let's get going. Koops? Oh, golly, um, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo, did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail, but you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse, he'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher, for you, so I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid! So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine! Ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back! Hooktail's castle awaits. So the whole you can shoot Koops, hold him in place, and move around thing before releasing him, that's really cool, but besides that, I really don't like Koops. Like, I don't like his personality, I don't like him in battle, like, at all. He's not the worst partner in the game, but he's not, he's not as good as Cooper, and even Cooper was kind of lame. Sorry! Okay, I guess we're fighting you. Oh, that guy has a mini Mr. Mini. That can shrink us and lower our attack power. But I should show off Koops in battle. Alright, so Shell Toss doesn't work quite the same way as it does in the original. It does do the same thing where it's like, hits the leftmost ground enemy. But instead of just working like the hammer, you have to hold left and release it when it hits the star. Also, Koops' stylish moves really take some time getting used to. Oh, man. Darn it. Shine Sprite refills everything. One nice thing about Koops, though, is he does have one extra defense from all your other party members. Because of his shell. Unfortunately, he can also get flipped over like a Koopa, and in which case, like a Koopa, he can't attack until he's flipped back over. Oh, hey! Mini Mr. Mini! Shrinks all enemies, lowering their attack power. There's so many, like, items in this, like the Mr. Softener and the Mini Mr. Mini, that, like, I never use. Even though they're kind of good. Alright, I'll try to show off the stylish moves. A. A. And that gets the, the two stylish.
Also, it's kind of weird that Koops has just, like, the bandage on his nose perpetually. But now that we have Koops, we can go up here and fetch us the Happy Heart Badge, slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. That's very good. We don't need multi-bounce. Since most of the enemies in the first dungeon have one defense anyway, so jumping doesn't really do anything. Look at all those toads. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That just flat out deals two damage. That's cool. Alright, back here, now that we've got the different two different stones, we can put the sunstone in that gap. Sunstone's in place. And we can put the moonstone here. It, I said we could put the moonstone here. The moonstone is in place. What does this say? Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle, Weakling's retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hit if both switches simultaneously. Addendum. If ye are a Petalberg Koopa, huzzah! Your hold ability maketh this chore a snap. So this is where we need to really show off Koops' hold ability. So over here, hold him in place. You gotta listen to the sound, essentially. When you hear Koops hit the switch, that's your cue to hit the switch as well. Ooh, what's this? A warp pipe? What could this mean? Also, I like Goombella better. I also really wish there was the way to quick switch your partners, like in the original, but this system works pretty well too, it's just the load times can get on my nerves a little bit. Same with the item, uh, quick item search. Nothing that way. Okay. It's always worth checking. Alright, we're going to save our game here. That's going to do it for this episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we will be starting the first dungeon, Hooktail's Castle. It's going to be awesome. Have a great day, and God bless. In case you guys wanted to see what happens if you go for the quiz normally instead of fighting the clefts, here we go. <laughs> you're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way to your Swank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> so what do you want to do? I'll take you on. <laughs> you're in for it now. Hey, hey, ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Perk up those ears, if you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question, what's hidden in this place? Stone keys. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, That's correct! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fireflower cost at the Shep of Petalberg total? 16 coins. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. They're both eight coins apiece. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. 
Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Croup. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here, much harder. So prepare yourself. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? Hooktail Castle. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Argh, right again. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogueport? Ray, see the card! Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> wrong! Wrong, 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 you fools! Remember, if you get free wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm, ho ha ha, don't let the pressure get to you. On to question six. Which of the following creatures have hands? Well, the real answer is Koopa Troopas, but I'm gonna say clefts. <laughs> you blithering meathead, you're wrong again! Get one more wrong and something wonderfully awful happens to you. Just one more wrong! Mm hmm, ho ha ha. What's that I hear? Your little knees knocking. Now for the last question. What number question is this? <laughs> Super question 64. It's question 7, dude. Such a real answer. There's a 7 above my fane, yes. <laughs> no! Ah, that's, that's right. You correctly answered 5 questions. I don't believe it. You win. So very angry! I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through, stupid rules. Hmph! So that's what happens if you do the quiz normally. I personally now prefer to fail the quiz and get some free star points. But that's just me. Do what you want. Anywho, see you guys later. Thank you.